Hello, welcome back. We are here to continue learning uh, mathematical reasoning. For today, our subtopic is going to be quantifiers. Quantifiers are words that refer quantities. Uh, those quantities are, we can say, like sum and all. So that quantifiers are of two types. These are universal quantifiers and existential quantifiers. Universal quantifier can be represented by the symbol A inverted upside down. And existential quantifier also, uh, it's E inverted right to left. Therefore, existential quantifier, we can uh, express as you see here, there exists X, PX. That means we can find a number X or an individual X from the domain which can satisfy the condition P of X. We will see by example. But the way how to read this, there exists x, px. That means there is a number x or there is an individual x which can satisfy the condition p of x. When you come to universal quantifier, uh, it can be expressed in this manner for all x, px. That means for every x from the domain, p of x will be satisfied, it means. Let us see by example. The first example here, our domain is the set S, as you see here, it is the numbers uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. This is a domain. And P of X, or the proposition P of X says X is a multiple of 2. Then A, it says there exists X, P of X. In another way, this means there is a number X from the domain, which is a multiple of 2. There is a number x from s, which is an element of s, uh, which can satisfy or which is a multiple of 2. Yes, of course, there are those numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Not only one number, many numbers are there. Almost all of the numbers are uh, multiples of 2. So this uh, will be true. But when you come to B, for all x, px means for every x which will be taken from the domain, it's a multiple of 2. No, this is false because 5, which is an element of s, not multiple of 2. Therefore, existential quantifier, it's almost near to be true. If you can find one number from the given domain which can satisfy the condition P of X, it's going to be true. So one number or one individual enough to be true. Therefore, existential quantifier is near to be true. When you are coming to universal quantifier, it's near to be false. One number or one individual from the given domain is found which cannot satisfy the condition P of X, total it's going to be false. As you see here, all of the number, almost all of the number are even numbers, which are multiples of two, but because of the number five, it fails. Let us try to see uh, some other example on it. For example, let us say uh, our domain is the set S here. The set S, it contains the set of even numbers, as you see here. And there are two propositions here. Proposition P of X, it says x is a composite number. You know, composite numbers are numbers having uh, more than two factors. And the set q of x or proposition q of x is a number x. x is prime number. Therefore, there exists x q of x. Means there is a number x from the given domain which is prime. Is there a number which is prime from here? Yes. Just only number 2. Because all even numbers... All even numbers, they are composite, except two. So, but we can find one number which can satisfy this condition, because when we are saying there exists X, can you find one number or a single number or a single individual from the given domain which can satisfy the condition of the given proposition? The proposition is Q of X. Yes, that's going to be true. How comes it is true? Because of one number. We have got uh, one number from the, from the domain, which is prime. When you come to the second one here, for all x, px, that means every number x in the domain are composite in another way, because p of x is composite, it's talking about composite numbers. Are these all even numbers composite? No, because of one number it fails. 
So this is going to be false. So from the given inverse, if you can find one number or one individual which cannot satisfy the condition of the given proposition, it's going to be false. Therefore, for all x or universal quantifier is sensitive to be false and existential quantifier is sensitive to be, to be true. Let us try to see some other examples on it. Here is exercise. The exercise says determine the truth values of each of the following assuming that the inverse is a set of real numbers. The first one, A, there exists x for x minus 3 equal to negative 2 x plus 1. That means we need to solve and we need to get the value of x. If you can find a real number, x, uh, we can say it is uh, true. Let us check. This means we need to solve uh, the given equation, its linear equation, that is 4x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. When we shuffle, it's going to be 4x minus 2x is equal to 1 plus 3. Just collect the x families to the left. So 2x is equal to 4. If you divide both sides by 2, x value is equal to 2. That means this number is an element of real number, yes. So there is a number x from the real number which can satisfy this condition, yet this number is 2. So uh, this is going to be true. Second question, it is quadratic as you see. There exists x which can satisfy this quadratic equation. It is x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. That means we need to solve this quadratic equation. You can solve in different methods. There are three methods to solve quadratic, completing the square, factorization, and formula. Better to apply here formula. A means 1, the coefficient of x squared, and B is again 1, the coefficient of x, and C is 1, which is a constant. Therefore, the formula says to get x, negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac. The whole over 2a. When you apply this formula, negative b means negative 1 plus or minus the square root of, you know, b square means just 1 square 1 minus, and 4ac means 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4. The whole over 2. So, what do we have here? Negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3, the whole over 2. But at this time, Try to be focused here. Square root of negative 3, uh, it's not an element of real number. It's not an element of real number. Therefore, uh, it has no solution. Because our domain is the set of real number. Radical of negative is, uh, it's under the set of complex number. It will have meaning. But under the set of real number, this is undefined. Therefore, this is going to be false. For this quadratic equation, we cannot get a single number which makes this condition true, I mean, this uh, equation uh, true. We try to solve it, we arrive at some point which is undefined. That's not an element of real number. Therefore, this uh, given compound proposition uh, cannot be true for even a single uh, number x. Okay, let us see uh, the next one. The next one, it says there exists x the given quadratic equation will be greater than zero. We already solved this one to find the zeros. We don't get a zero. This is a quadratic equation. Since the a greater than zero, we, the a is greater than uh, zero, it's positive, a leading coefficient. Remember, quadratic equations are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. These are quadratic equations. So if the coefficient of x squared a, if it is positive greater than zero, it's upward parabola. So that parabola, it may cross the x-axis twice, or it may touch the x-axis just once, or it may uh, never, it will not, maybe it will never cross the x-axis anyway. How do you check? When you try to solve the given quadratic equation, if you can get two roots, that means it crosses the x-axis twice, it will have two roots. If it has one root only, it touches the x-axis once. But we try to solve this quadratic equation. We don't get root. That means the graph of this quadratic equation is completely above the x-axis. That means for all x, for all x, this uh, quadratic equation, x squared plus x plus 1 is greater than 0. That is true. Because the graph is completely above the x-axis. means uh, for every x, the whole thing is always positive. That is true. We can't get uh, any number which makes it 0. And any number, if you insert in place of x, it's going to be always positive. 
no negative outcomes or it cannot be even zero. Therefore, this statement is true. Not only for exist for, um, for existential quantified, even for uh, universal quantified, it's going to be true. X squared plus X plus one is greater than zero for all X. Yes, even it's false. So that uh, this will be true. The next question, it is, uh, we can say uh, the opposite. We can say it's almost. Uh, it says there exists X, the given quadratic equation will be less than zero. No, even we cannot find a number which makes it zero. We said already the graph is completely above the x-axis. How do we know? The leading coefficient is positive. It's an upward parabola. And we don't get what for this quadratic equation. We cannot find zeros. The zeros means the number that makes this quadratic equation zero. We cannot find a number that makes this quadratic equation zero. means the graph is completely above the x-axis. That means this uh, quadratic equation, I mean, it is the inequality has to be greater than zero. So this one, there exists x which makes less than zero completely false. When we try to solve one more question, as you see here again, it says for x, for x minus three equal to negative two x plus one. It means for x minus three is equal to negative two x plus one. We will try to solve it. We did it previously uh, already. No, we didn't. So let us collect it. Uh, 4x plus 2x is equal to 1 plus 3, we reshuffle, then 6x will be 4 divided by 6, then x is equal to 2 over 3, we can simplify. So this equation will be satisfied or will be okay or will be fine when x is equal to uh, 2 over 3 only. It doesn't work for all real numbers. This means for every real number, you can insert any real number x in place of, I mean, any real number x. And then this equation will be true, no, it will be uh, false. It doesn't work for every real number. This one works for only 2 over 3, when x is equal to 2 over 3. So these are uh, some of the questions that will be solved, and these are the way, these are the meaning or uh, what means quantifiers. Okay, types of quantifiers and the way how it works in examples. And don't forget, try to stress here. Universal quantifier is sensitive to be false, it's near to be false, because one element is enough. Okay, in case of porolex, you are going to search a number or an individual which can make a statement false. If you can find, that will be uh, false completely, even if it works for all. As example, as an example here, as we see here, uh, porolex px means every even numbers are composite. No, because of two, because of one number. And when you come to existential quantify, if you can find one number or one individual from the given domain which can satisfy the condition, it's going to be true. So this is the way how you can solve and you can understand the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.